hi people how you will be back to my youtube channel and victorian and is in case you're new here and in case you're returning thank you very much have you subscribed please subscribe if you have not and today is a sunday so it means it's time for trending with victoria what is trending where you are of course something is a trending where i am and remember this segment comes your way every sunday so let's straight away go to the first story which comes in from uganda where the president of uganda has been termed as a nutritionist yes this comes after he demonstrated how a family or how someone can one can eat 2.5 kilograms of kosho in 10 days Cooked it on the instructions. They go to me. This one here. Ah. Now this one. I tried to estimate. <laughs> and said, suppose, suppose I eat something like this. This comes after people came complaining that the food that government had given to them was done and they needed more food. So he went ahead and demonstrated for them how they can eat this food in 10 days and not just waste it because he said people are just wasting this food and he demonstrated it for them to show that you know what you can actually have this food in 10 days though in actual sense like he called it a scientific conclusion he said they came to a scientific conclusion it is indeed scientific because when you go to eat theoretically it can be right but when you go to eat practically it may not be right because if you gave a family 2.6 kilograms of kosher and you expect them to eat them in 10 days then it is not possible because we have the people you gave to this food have families have family members maybe it can be enough for a person who is just alone and that means they have to eat in small portions like they are uh, you know they, they are just trying to watch their weight or something but if someone is not watching their weight or if someone is angry like right now that you gave out this food as government to help people during this lockdown period one of the things that people are doing is actually eating more than they can even eat because they are not working they are literally home so i do not think that it is really practical to people but since the president demonstrated it you never know it's practical but in actual sense is a theoretically uh, practical but uh, uh, when you put it in practice it may not really be practical at all so dear president of uganda thank you for that demonstration but i do not think that uh it is really enough for people who are complaining about this food being little and yes even if you told them that uh they should eat in small portions they cannot they cannot uh you know eating those small portions and they actually not wasting it they are actually eating this uh, food story number two comes in from america where the president of america donald trump came out and said that uh, churches and other places of worship like the mosques are in social places and they needed to be open he actually gave uh, the 
he, he gave an instruction to the governors to make sure that churches are open and he went ahead and said that if abortion centers are termed as essentials then churches should also be essential places and they should be opened immediately at my direction the centers for disease control and prevention is issuing guidance for communities of faith I want to thank Dr. Redfield and the CDC for their work on this matter and all the other work they've been doing over the past, what now seems like a long period of time. Today, I'm identifying houses of worship, churches, synagogue, and mosques as essential places that provide essential services. Some governors have deemed liquor stores and abortion clinics as essential, but have left out churches and other houses of worship. It's not right. So I'm correcting this injustice and calling houses of worship essential. I call upon governors to allow our churches and places of worship to open right now. If there's any question, they're going to have to call me, but they're not going to be successful in that call. These are places that hold our society together and keep our people united. The people are demanding to go to church and synagogue, go to their mosque. Many millions of Americans embrace worship as an essential part of life. The ministers, pastors, rabbis, imams, and other faith leaders will make sure that their congregations are safe as they gather and pray. Now, some governors are still opposed to it, but he said he'll use his authority to make sure that they open these churches. And they are not the only ones who are opposed to it. Even still, some people in the Christian community and other uh, communities, other uh, like mosques and all those other places said some of them came out to say that they do not think that this is the right time to open churches though some think that it is the right time let churches be open let people pray to god let people speak to god because there's no way you can lock the church and yet it just reminds us that we are the church people i want to remind us that we are the church the bible says of the church we are the church of christ and we form the church so if you've not been pray, praying online if you've not been praying by yourself i want to remind you that yes those are buildings that we go to yes it is good to fellowship but in this time I do not know what to say. I don't know whether it is right or wrong to close or open the churches. But if people are not going to be able to observe the rules that are put there, which I know most people are not going to observe, let uh, the churches maybe take some time to open, maybe open slowly by slowly, but make sure that they uh, observe these rules. Now, President Trump is, the, is not the only president who came out to say that ch churches are essential or places of worship are essential. But even the president of Tanzania, uh, sometime back in uh, in uh sometime back in march came out to say that he's not going to uh, close any place of worship because of covid and he said that people should be led to go to church and pray because they need god in such a period and because they need god there's no way we can say that close the churches or close the places of worship he further said that uh this is the time we need god more than ever and people should just follow the rules and regulations that have been put up to regulate to help in the in in curbing corona virus we should all know that churches and other places of worship and other places that bring people closer to each other are us were stopped from operating until further notice because of coronavirus since the virus just spreads from one person to another and some people cannot be able to follow this regulation so the president of tanzania was also criticized for this but and he's he's not the only one who has who was criticized but also president donald trump has been criticized by some and then there are some who support it that churches should actually be open but i will say it again that we are the church and we are open are you praying by yourself are you listening to those sermons? are you watching the pastors what are you doing do you know that you're the church in case you don't know, you can go and read your word and know who is the church and who forms the church. 
And that leads me to story number three, which still comes in from Uganda, where the Minister of Health, Dr. Ruth Achenga, came out to say that uh, Uganda does not have money to make free masks. Now, this comes at the point where the president of uh, this uh, country came out to address the nation about updates of corona and uh, about how they are going to ease the lockdowns. And he said that uh, that government is going to provide free masks to everyone, to every Ugandan. We are 35 million Ugandans, so the government is going to provide masks for us. These two statements contradict themselves because the, the president's said they are going to provide and then the minister is saying that they do not have money and to me that is a lot of contradicting but hey government as we the people of uganda we are ready to buy these masks people are ready to buy for themselves masks and the masks that you want so i think it is high time that like you said we are going to open the country on 2nd june let the country be opened and let people be instructed to move around with their on masks because trust me since people want to move out people want to get back to work people want to get back to a little bit of normalcy or to the new normal because the new normal is now walking out of home while wearing a mask let me buy their own masks because i know we cannot fail i know we can't fail to get that one th that uh, that five thousand or ten thousand to buy a mask on our own no one does not want this health like more than ever this spirit has shown us that we need to we, we love our health so much so trust me because we do and because we care and because we care for our brothers and sisters we shall be able to afford this mass and we shall be able to buy them for ourselves without you government providing for us or we can as well wait for yours as we are using our own masks